And Mr. President, you know, as long as there's a breath in me, I'll be there for you. My whole family will be, and I know, I know it is uh, reciprocal. Now, the media tried to portray Obama and Biden as the best of friends. It was an unlikely bromance. But like so many other hoaxes, it was all fake. It was a one-way relationship. He tolerated Joe, but Barack obviously just wasn't over the moon. I hope what I'm going to say will save you a lot of time and energy. He's just not that into you. So move on. Yeah. According to White House aides, Axios is reporting that President Biden doesn't even speak frequently with Barack Obama, but behind closed doors, he does talk about him a lot. And while Obama may have moved out of the White House, he's apparently living rent-free in Joe Biden's head. Obama would be jealous, Biden sometimes says, when speaking about a perceived accomplishment. And at times, Biden's competitiveness with Obama has affected how he governs. Biden was adamant about withdrawing troops from Afghanistan in 2021, in part because he felt vindicated that Obama should have followed his own advice in 2009 to largely withdraw them then. Of course, chaos ensued, 13 American Marines dead and service personnel because of Joe Biden's decision to craft policy-based uh, old grudges and the open wounds of a scorned ex-BFF. The White House denies this reporting. But as Biden apparently stews over his old pal, Obama's content to keep his distance and let his old staff, I guess, run the White House while he stays busy with more important matters like meeting with America's strongest ally overseas, which begs the question, who's actually in the shadows running this government while bitter old Joe fights to get out from underneath the shadow of Obama? Joining me now, Molly Hemingway, Fox News contributor and editor in chief at The Federalist, Chris Bedford, senior contributor over at The Federalist. Um, Molly, is this is kind of sad. I actually think this one is true. Um, sometimes when they leak things, you know, it's to help Biden, but this makes him just look terrible. Well, there clearly has been a problem here for President Obama, who a lot of people view this term as his third term. He has been expressing frustration and disappointment with, if anything, just the incompetence of the current administration. And it is hard for Barack Obama. He had two uh, failing terms as president. He had a an economy that was suffering, where the GDP was very low. And now to see it happen again with his vice president, it's, uh, it's going to cement his poor legacy. Now, despite Biden's apparent uh, yearning to uh, be cut loose, KJP told reporters today that that's not happening. Watch. When will the president hold another news conference so we can ask a question of him without having helicopter noise or jet noise in the background? I don't have anything for you to share. Obviously, the president, president, as you just say, as you were just saying, the president uh, takes questions pretty regularly. Enjoys having engagement with all of you. Uh, I don't have a press conference to lay out for you at this time. Chris, this is one of the biggest lies ever told. That Biden is champing at the. He wants to get out there and duke it out. I don't believe that for one second. Yeah, I he, think he wants to cruise all the way to Election Day and hope that social media companies and all of his old plutocrat friends help him get there. Yeah, but we've been hearing from the White House that he's secretly being held in by staff. He's a very energetic person. This is all a joke. People are afraid to even go in and brief him because he's so sharp and he's so <laughs> with it. And I've heard that Kim Jong-un is an incredible archer who wins marathons. This is ridiculous propaganda that no one could possibly believe. And the White House it's just, you can see they're trying to leak it out there, but anyone Anonymous who has eyes... sources say Biden's really upset that yeah. he's not out with the people. But, but if you can see... Real presidents, Molly, aren't run by their staff. Real presidents say, hey, you, you either let me do what I'm going to do here or you're gone. Exactly. Right? How... That's what a real president would do. How feckless and weak do you have to be to say that other people are limiting you in this way? If he is the president, if he's running things, he can take care of this on his own. He's not able to because he, you know, we all see what happens when he actually does have unscripted moments with the press. That's why when they do allow him to be with the press, they actually work out what the questions are with the reporters before before they're even asked. But this this is going to be a long campaign and it will be very difficult to convince people that um, that, it, it, that we can blame his staff I mean, for him not being out. The press should just be up in arms, that they're, they're hiding him. They should have been up in arms in the, in the last election, but, of course, they they're it. in on the game. They ran his campaign. Babylon B headline, I'm sorry, this came out, I thought, late today, but it was so funny, put up on the screen. Unhinged, what does it say? Unhinged Trump threatens more violence by promising to trigger a landslide on election <laughs> day. That, 
you know, if you can't use the word landslide. That's barely a Babylon Bee headline. That's basically what happened throughout the media today with, with the remarks from this weekend. Well, I have to say, when the Washington Post is writing or publishing columns saying it's time for Kamala Harris to step aside, which happened over the weekend, saying you're, you're a drag on this ticket because she's lower in her approval ratings than both Biden and, of course, Donald Trump. She's far lower. They're worried about her and him. Most of the problem that the White House has is they can keep on leaking this stuff to the press, this, these stories, to try and keep the Democrat voters happy. No one else is buying it. But they don't have any real surrogates. Who, who can they send out in Pelosi's their cabinet? Pelosi's going to be their big surrogate, don't you think? She's going to be their big surrogate. She might be one. I mean, Lloyd Austin's out there getting in trouble. Every time they send out Pete Buttigieg, he says something stupid. <laughs> they need to walk back. But There's he's a first. No one they can rely on. One of the Mayorkas is getting impeached. I mean, who are they going to send out? Who are, who are the heavy hitters in the Democrat team? Basically, it's President Barack Obama, who, like you said, is off doing his own diplomacy. Uh, Molly, Obama, I, do you think he's going to tie himself to this unless he thinks they can really win it? Uh, that's actually an interesting way to think about it is if he does get involved, it must mean he thinks that they would be able to get Biden across the finish line. But it might just be so bad at this point that he doesn't want to taint his own legacy. Yeah, Michelle's probably headed for the hills at this point. I mean, maybe we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I mean, his legacy is on the line, too. Molly and Chris, great to see you both. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.